So I've got my last door. Now I'll be using a for loop that will go through every row. Uh, right. So I'll start over the for loop for C1. C1 is the counter one equals 2 to LR. Now why did I uh, write 2 instead of 1? Because my first row contains headers and I don't want that. So I'm going to start my counter from 2 instead of 1. Now, as soon as I've started my for loop, I'm going to go and uh, write the closing statement next C1 and I'm going to write my code in between so that I don't forget it later on. Now it's, it's advisable to indent your code so that it will be readable uh, whenever you try to read it in the future. Alright, now first and foremost we'll have to have a variable that will store the part numbers in it. So I have this variable var equals data dot cells. Now, what is my uh, row index number? That is C1. That's going to uh, change every time. That's going to increment by 1 every time the uh, for loop runs. So right now it's going to be 2, then 3, then 4 and so on. And my column index is going to be C. C because my products are in C. So uh, for the first time the loop runs, it's going to be second row and the C column. So it's going to have wheels stored in it. You can test it out. Testing the F. Uh, F8 key. So uh, now we've got our uh, variable stored, the uh, part name stored in the variable. The next line is going to be data dot cells. Uh, row, row index is C1. This is for the counter. And C dot entire row dot copy. This doesn't make any difference. Uh, make, make any difference because it's going to copy the entire row as it is. Now, uh, we need one more variable that will count the last row for all the uh, for all the uh, parties. Because as the loop is going to run, the last row on all uh, these parties it's going to change because every time it, it finds a entry with drop arms it's gonna come and paste that entire row over here so it's gonna increment by one every time and this is gonna happen for all the part numbers so I've got one more variable lr1 equals sheets var so if this var has drop arm stored in it then this lr1 will return the last row of that particular sheet dot Cells, rows dot count a for column a dot end excel up dot row. All right. So this is returning the last row of the sheet. Uh, wheels and that's basically going to be 2 uh, I'm sorry 1 because there's only uh, the header row right now but when we try and paste our data we don't want to paste it on row number 1 we want to paste it on the next row that's why I'm going to add it by 1 so it should return 2 now now that we've copied, we want to go uh, to the respective sheet and paste it uh, on the next uh, empty row. So my next line of code is going to be sheets in the bracket var 
dot cells l r one a because I'm going to paste it on the first column dot paste s p e c i p special and into bracket excel paste values or uh, now we wanted to paste special uh, values on the next not empty row and then i'm going to turn off the application dot cut copy mode Now my uh, all loop has is closed, so this C1 will go from two to three, four till the time it reaches the last row. That is, I, I think, 498. And when this loop finishes running that many times, it will go to the next code. Now I want data dot range a1 dot select. So after the uh, for loop closes, it'll go to the data sheet range A1 and select uh, that cell. Now this doesn't make any difference, but then it's a general, I mean, it's a good practice uh, that a sheet looks a bit professional. Now after this part of the code is finished, I need a message box confirming me that the activity is completed. So message box. data updated in respective sheets and this can be anything you want bb ok only because i just need an ok button and uh, i need a title something like updated We already have the closing statement for the screen updating and end stop. Now let's try to run the code. Uh, to run the code, you can press the short keys Alt F8 to see all the available macro macros and uh, hit the run button. But I'm going to show, show you a good trick. Insert a small shape. If you're going to use this regularly. right click on the shape and assign a macro part sheets okay so every time you press this button that code is gonna run so let's try it currently all my sheets are empty I'm gonna run the code yeah it gives me this confirmation data updated in respective sheets you can go ahead and check it out. It's got all the drop arm entries, it's got all the tie rod entries, similarly for oil tank entries. Hope you had fun learning VB. You can download this exercise file on my website www.needforexcel.com. Please leave comments in case of any queries. Alright, thanks for watching.